Hello! Welcome back to Summit Tutoring. I am A.G. Singh, and today we will be discussing graphing linear equations. The graph of line k is shown in the xy plane above. Which of, which of the following is an equation of the line that is perpendicular to line k? So, first thing we need to do is find the slope, right? So let's see. Let's look at point 2, 2, right over here. And we see it shifts 2 downwards and 1 to the right. Alright, so that means it's negative 2. This is going down negative 2 and across 1. So negative 2 is the slope. But now we have to remember, they're asking us for the perpendicular line. Right? So, what we must do is find the negative reciprocal of this. How do we do that? We just take the negative 2 and we put it over 1 and we take out this negative sign because we would put another negative sign here and because negative 1 negative 1 times negative 1 half is 1 half we know the slope is 1 half and we don't even need to worry about anything else I mean there's only one option for that circle it which the answer would be C All right, next one which of the following in the equation for the line L in the XY plane above alright so first thing we need to do is let's try to find the Y intercept and we see that's one up here so that means it has an intercept of 1, so we must add 1. Right? So, it seems like we could cross out C. And A and B are straight lines. So we know those are not it. They're not slanted in any way. So that leaves us with D. And we're just going to take it a step further. We, we realize that it's going up 1 and to the right 1. So that means that it has a slope of 1. And D has a slope of 1, so we know it's D. All right, to the next one. What is an equation of line L in the figure above? Let's see. So we need to find the slope, and we do that through rise over run. So let's let's try to identify the points here. One point here, one point here. This is two zero, and this one. 0, 3. Okay. And we have, we're going to plug this into the equation. x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2. Okay. So let's do that. We're going to put 2 here. Minus 0. And then we're going to do 0 minus 3. So that equals negative 3, sorry, negative 3, 2. Let's see. So we know it's not D, and we know it's not C. Now let's find the y-intercept. We know it's up 3. 1, 2, 3. So it's not 2, so the answer is B. All right, on to the next one. All right. In the figure above, what is the slope of line L? Okay, so we're going to plug into the same equation. y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So, let's do it. s minus 0. And then we have 0 minus R. And remember that we need to put this correlated, right? So this is the x value, and this is the y value of the same thing, of this one right here. And then R and O are the over here. So we have to make sure they're correlated. So let's let's do that. So that's negative, negative R, S. So that will be A. Fifth problem. Let's do it. Final one. In the figure above, the line has a slope of negative 2. What is the y-intercept of L? Okay. 
let's do it. So we have the slope, which is negative 2, and we have one particular point. We have this point being 3, 4. Because look, they, they drew the dotted lines for us. So that's the point there. And we have the slope of negative 2 plus b. We're going to have b represent the y-intercept using the equation y equals mx plus b. And this equals 4 because that is the y-intercept here. And we're just going to plug in the x value too. So negative 2, 3, 3 equals 4 plus b. What is that? That is negative 6 plus b equals 4. So 10 equals b. That leaves us with d. All right, guys. Uh, this is one of the more um, straightforward ones. So these questions are really easy to get the hundreds on. They really push you towards that, you know, 600, that 700. But, you know, these are points that are very easy to nail down. So please make sure you get these ones right. Um, all right. I hope today's review of graphing linear equations was helpful for preparing for the SAT. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to reach to us, uh, reach us personally, you can join our Discord and message one of our tutors. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe button and turn on post notifications for upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next video.